Hey you, have you ever noticed that the USB naming convention sucks? And no, I'm not talking about the various type of USBs, that's a whole different kind of worms that I really don't want to get into right now. I'm just talking about the versions. For the first three versions, they did a great job. First USB 1, which was effectively USB 1.1, but it's still good. Then USB 2.0 and 3.0. A plus, excellent. After this, I can only assume they did three lines of snow because the next two are called USB 3.1 Gen 1, which replaces the USB 3.0, so why change the name anyway? And USB 3.1 Gen 2, which is double the speed and in my opinion deserves a better name and not just a change of a small insignificant number at the end. Then apparently not noticing their mistakes and actually wanting to make them worse, they introduced the USB 3.2 with four different variants. First of all, the USB 3.2 Gen 1, which replaces the 3.1 Gen 1, and if you remember, that replaced the USB 3.0, they changed the name again, what the f- Then USB 3.2 Gen 1 by 2, which is a little slower than USB 3.1 Gen 2, I... Okay, first of all, why would you make it less fast than the previous version? And second, why would you add another number in the first place? The third variation is USB 3.2 Gen 2, which replaces the USB 3.1 Gen 2, again, useless. The last one is 3.2 Gen 2 by... The, okay, the last one is USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2, which is double the speed as the previous one. And look, logically, I understand why there is a by 2 at the end. It means double the lanes or double the speed effectively. The problem is that nobody will ever use it, nobody is gonna remember it, and marketers will do everything in their power to exploit the naming schemes to their advantage. Normal people just stop at the first, maybe second number. No chance they will remember all that garbage. Like, read this image, what the f*** is written on here, this is unintelligible. Actually, speaking of marketing, starting with USB 3.2, they introduced a new naming scheme to help companies with branding. USB IF recommended branding the 5, 20 and 20 gigabit per second operation modes as USB Super Speed 5, 10 and 20 gigabit per second respectively, and so on for newer version, which is better. You can see the obvious problems with have the same starting words for all of this, which thankfully they dropped, removing the word altogether, but the main issue with this approach is that some sellers will use the bad naming scheme anyway, and others will use the new one, effectively making the problem worse. So I appreciate that USB IF recognizing that was a problem, but this is not the solution, and unfortunately there is no clear solution for the naming problems they made in the past, but they can make up for it in the future by making a better naming scheme. And did they do that, you ask? Come on, we both know the answer, of course not! For USB 4, they added 5 different versions, honestly you don't need me to read them all out to you, just here's the chart with all the names, specification, pose, if you want to read them out. And then, for the latest revision, they doubled the speed, wanna guess how they named it? You're, you're wrong, they called it USB 4.0 V2. They doubled the f***ing speed from 40 to 80 f***ing gigabolts per second and they just add the V2. Dude, why? <laughs> Not only that, they changed the naming again. We never saw that V2. Why did you change it? Some of you may be saying, right, nowadays we're at USB-C and it's becoming more popular. These problems would go away soon. And <laughs> you couldn't be more wrong. First of all, USB-C is a multi-purpose connector, it doesn't just pass data and current, it also passes video, audio, it can do a lot of stuff. And yes, a normal USB can do all of these things, but generally more, more people use it for that stuff. And you also need different versions to specify what it can do. So all of the normal USB stuff versions applies. Your $100 phone probably doesn't need to output 4K video from it, nor does it need to charge at 100 watts, and you can bet your ba and you can bet your app manufacturers will do everything in their power to save a buck on things they don't need. Seriously, go to the Wikipedia page for USB-C and take a tequila shot every time you see the word MAY, and call me later when you pass out for alcohol poisoning. <laughs> yep, there is no real conclusion to this video, this was a rumble I had in my head for various months that I needed to get out somehow, and a YouTube video filled with chaotic energy was my preferred choice. Well, I guess if you enjoyed this video, leave me a like, a comment, and get subscribed for more gremlin videos, and I'll see you in the next one.